my name is Nick McWilliam, and I am a volunteer with Map Action. And as you know, we were called up to help with the response to the giant earthquake and following tsunami that struck Japan just over two weeks ago now. Two of us were selected to form the team. It was myself and Anne Franklin. We were phoned about nine o'clock in the morning on Monday the 14th of March and asked if we were available to go to Japan that evening. So we each had just a few hours to prepare and get our bags ready. We met at Heathrow. Someone from Map Action came there with all the equipment for us to use. And then we, we set off for Japan. When we arrived, we met immediately with the UN Disaster Assessment and Coordination Team. And they were our partners for most of our mission. The first job that we had really was, was making maps that showed the locations of the international search and rescue teams. So many teams in, coordination becomes vital. And in coordinating these teams, maps are an essential tool. They stayed in touch by phone and by email and through a website. So hour by hour, information would come into our office. And as it came in, we were able to put that on maps. Which rescue team had arrived in which location, how many people were in the search team, and also how many dogs, actually, whether the team is active at that moment and when it stands down. We also provided very detailed maps to the search and rescue teams so they had very accurate pictures of the areas they were searching. These maps were updated every day using data mostly from the Japanese government. When I deployed to Japan, we didn't realize that See the Difference was mounting this campaign. So it was a fantastic surprise to us when we got the email from our headquarters. And every day in the morning, we logged into the See the Difference website to see what was happening. And I must say that every day we were absolutely delighted and surprised to see the response, to see all these messages of support that people were sending in. Normally we don't see messages like this. We don't have this connection with people who are donating to us. But having that live link through the website was a real encouragement to us. We often think that everything has to be on the Internet to be useful. Actually, in an emergency, something on the Internet is probably of very little use to a field worker on the ground because they don't have the time and they don't have the internet connection and they might not have the equipment. So paper maps, which your donations have been paying for, were absolutely essential for us. So my main message is to say how useful they were and how grateful we are to have your support in producing those maps in the field.